Uh, I think I'm just gonna just hold off on collecting any more G.I. Joes for now until they become easily available because I'm not gonna go on a wild goose chase for these figures that should cost 20 bucks that are you know being marked up online for 50 to 100 dollars so yeah screw that I'm done collecting G.I. Joe classified figures for now and found some other things that I've gotten into recently like Batman uh, missions from uh, what was it Spin Masters that I will show towards the tail end here so first off I did find these Avenger figures last month I think um, after Christmas at Target they were in the back by the Funko Pops um, if you turn to the side you can see the awesome artwork there of Captain America Thor and Thanos and on the back you can see the other figures that they currently sell they also have, oops, get my camera to focus on that. They also have Hulk and two variants of Iron Man and Captain Marvel. And this is from a company called Zoteki. Now, this is the second time I collected something from Zoteki uh, back in December or November. I forgot which month, but I also picked up some of the X-Men figures right here. I picked up Cyclops right here. I also picked up Jean Grey and I forgot how much were these a piece I think they were eight dollars a piece anywhere from seven to eight dollars a piece for these and I also got Magneto so uh, yeah currently these are the six figures I have from that company and you know there's more to collect from each line from the X-Men line and the Avengers line and you put them together and make an awesome diorama piece so, I don't know if I'll get the rest to uh, put together the diorama piece, but they do look nice. So, I'm um, getting into some Power Rangers Lightning Collection stuff. At my local Target, they had these guys. So, what happened is, after Christmas, I think it was a day or two after Christmas, I went there to search to see if they had any more of the Batman Spinmaster figures, which they did. Uh, this guy was just sitting on the shelf by himself, the pumpkin wrapper, in this box. And so I picked him up because uh, the only way to get him and King Spinks was through online orders, but there he was sitting on the shelf all by himself. And then um, sometime this month I went back to Target again and they had more of him on the shelf along with King Spinks, but King Spinks, he was in the special box, the special uh, black and silver box, which looks cool. And I noticed this guy, Pumpkin Wrapper, came in the same box. So there's two different box types out there, but it's the same figure, but you're getting, uh, I guess, two different boxes that they're selling at Target or anywhere else. Um, I'm assuming Target only has this packaging, this type of packaging that for their um, Power Ranger enemy figures. But as mentioned many times before in my previous haul videos, I've been loving the Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. Uh, I never got into the Legacy Collection. I always wanted to, but I kept putting it off. I, I would always say to myself, uh, eventually I'll buy the Legacy Collection figures. Even though I've seen them in front of my face multiple times, the entire set. But I was like, eh, I'll still wait. And then eventually Hasbro took over the license from uh, Bandai and started making Power Ranger figures. And now they're making the monsters, which is nice. And I hope they make more Zords. I would like to see the Dino Mega Zord um, in the big, you know, giant size and not the current one they have. Because the current one they have is a uh, combiner where you can, you know, take apart and put together all the, the Zords. But the figure itself is not that great. So I'm hoping they, you know, make another one. Uh, this guy. This guy I got over the holiday season last month because he was on sale for 20 bucks and he usually goes for sale for $30. So 20 bucks for the SPD Omega Ranger with the Unifor Cycle for 20 bucks. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal for that price. I mean, it's better than paying 30, I guess. But another awesome Power Ranger to add to my collection. All right. Uh, oh. I'm starting to get back into collecting these guys again. <laughs> After a long hiatus from 
not buying any more Transformer figures. Hasbro has finally pulled me back in with their Earthrise stuff for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom because I noticed they're coming out with some more figures which I did pre-order from Amazon. They're heading into the Beast War stuff with um, Optimus Primal, there's Cheetor there, and I there's Dinobot, but I don't see... There's Ryan. Oh, there he is. Okay, Megatron in his uh, T-Rex mode. And there's Unicron. We might get a brand new Unicron, which is awesome. Because I remember the last Unicron that came out. Well, the last one that came out, I think, was like a fan project that cost over $300. But the one that came out a long time ago was part of the Armada series, and I ended up buying that one. And I do have it displayed in my room, um, mostly on the floor, because there's no, no room to display that thing because it's so huge. But yeah, the last time I was into collecting Transformers was around uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. After that movie came out, I collected four action figures from that movie, and then I stopped because I was mostly into the Marvel Legends figures and Ninja Turtles and other stuff when I got into, uh, you know, collecting various figures other than Transformers. But yeah, they're, they're I guess, retelling the story of Beast Wars, which is awesome because I grew up watching Beast Wars. Um, originally grew up watching G1, but yes, I grew up watching Beast Wars, uh, Beast Wars Transmetals, and even Beast Machines that came after Beast Wars, and all the animated Transformer stuff that came after that. I have tons of Optimus Prime action figures in my collection. I never did show off my entire Transformers collection because that box is a pain to get to, but this guy right here, which is pretty much Masterpiece Optimus Prime, is the holy grail in my Transformers collection. He comes with the Matrix of Leadership. And this awesome base, where if you press the button... Autobot, transform and roll out. I want you to make a special run to Autobot City. Megatron must be stopped. But yeah, I love this Optimus Prime, even though I never opened them up. Um, but I kept them in mint condition because I found this guy at Toys R Us, believe it or not, before they went out of business. And he has die cast parts, so he's kind of heavy. And even though it does not say on the box, it says 20th Anniversary DVD Edition Optimus Prime, he is pretty much Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And take a look at the back. So yeah, this is pretty much the Holy Grail in my uh, Transformers collection. Amongst all of the different Optimus Prime figures that I currently own, um, yeah. I also have Masterpiece Starscream. Uh oh, did I cover up? I think I covered up the mic, I'm not sure. Sometimes I cover up the mic by accident and it drowns out my voice, but I'll say that again. Um, I also have the Masterpiece Starscream action figure of G1 Starscream that I found at Walmart a long time ago, back when Walmart actually used to fully stock their figures. Um, all right. So next thing to show here, I did purchase Wonder Woman 84 figure, and this is from SH Figure Arts. This is actually my second SH Figure, uh, figure Arts action figure. I don't really like to go for them too much because they are pricey. Uh, the first SH Figure Arts figure I have ever owned is of this guy. Right here, the giant uh, Brawly full power figure from Dragon Ball Super. So now I officially have two SH Figure Arts in my action figure collection. Um, if you want to see comparison with the McFarlane Wonder Woman that I also have in my collection, huge size difference. Um, if, if you know about McFarlane, yeah, he likes to make his action figures around seven inches tall, seven to a seven and a half inch tall. So, yeah, huge difference. They also have the SH Figure Arts of her in the golden armor. I think that one is going for a little bit more money. But um, I got her for 60 bucks, and I was kind of pissed because the week after I bought her, they had like a lightning deal on Amazon for 50 bucks. So I could have got her for $10 cheaper. Uh, but oh well, at least I got a cool SH Figure Arts of Wonder Woman and my celebrity crush. Yes. Now the world knows I have a celebrity crush, and it is Gal Gadot. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, part of 
my massive haul here. Yeah, I picked up this version of Sub-Zero. The normal version is damn near impossible to get a hold of. Not really. He is easily available online. It's just that they raised the price for whatever reason. And I saw this new version, which was, you know, the regular price, which was like 19 bucks with tax, of course. But uh, now I have Sub-Zero to go with my Scorpion from Mortal Kombat 11, of course, and Spawn. But, you know, I didn't really get Spawn for Mortal Kombat 11. I got him because I actually dig Spawn for a long time. I was a long-time Spawn fan, even though I haven't been really keeping up with the comics, but every now and then I might pick up a Spawn figure or something related to Spawn. All right, so there's my brand new Sub-Zero, uh, which is called Sub-Zero Frozen Over Edition. Which is the same figure, it's just different paint apps. And uh, I guess added paint to the clear plastic weapons there. And the skull with the spine and all that. All right. And oh, the Holy Grail in my Mortal Kombat collection, of course, will always be this scorpion right here. From, I believe, I want to say Mortal Kombat 3? No, it was 2. This is a two or three, but yeah, this will always be the Holy Grail in my Mortal Kombat action figure collection. All right, moving on. Bunch of DC stuff, as you can already see. Uh, but first, I'll show up the Ghostbusters action figures, which I did not end up collecting the entire line yet because I watch a few other Toy Hunt videos and other people are finding them on clearance already at Walmart for $11. Um, I paid full price for these when I found them at Walmart of Winston and Spengler, which are the two, I guess, most popular one in the line because they keep selling out fast. However, I noticed these are clogging up the pegs in both Walmart and, and Target. But um, yeah, only Winston comes with this uh, force effects piece that you could put on his uh, Ghostbuster pack there. And there's the back. So eventually, yeah, I will get the other ones. Um, I do want to get Peter Vinkman, Race Dance, Dana, and Gozer, of course. But I'm not worried about missing out on these if I don't correct if I don't collect them right away because I think they're always going to be easily available. All right, getting to, into some Batman stuff. I pick up this awesome Bane statue from Amazon. It was on sale for about 50 bucks, I think from gallery, uh, I think Diamond Select's gallery diorama pieces. And this is actually my fourth statue that I own from them. I'll show you the other ones that I own. Um, I have Captain America from Endgame, holding up Thor's uh, hammer there, Mjolnir. I also have Savage Land's Rogue. And I have Lady Death. These are all awesome Diamond Selects Gallery Diorama statues. And Spider-Man from the PS4 version, which uh, I got last month on sale for $24. So there he is there doing an awesome pose on top of a taxi. So these are currently the four, yeah, four statues that I currently own from uh, Diamond Selects gallery diorama selections that they sell mostly online you can get these off amazon and other websites but um bane here is the latest edition and probably one of my most favorite editions because he reminds me of nightfall bane which i think it is nightfall bane he's holding batman's cow there i think this is right after he break batman's back that famous storyline so, um, getting to some more DC stuff, this guy, I think his name is Devastator, or basically it is Batman from Earth, negative uh, one, but I think his name is Devastator. Um, this guy, I really wanted to pick up from the DC Multiverse collection that McFarlane's doing uh, since last year, but of course my stores was not stocking this guy. Um, a few other people found him back in, I think around August of 2020, 
I didn't find this guy until after Christmas. <laughs> uh, there was only like two of them hanging off the pegs and he was on sale for $15. A $20 figure on sale for 15 bucks, so not bad. I mean, it got this big chunky beast of a figure for what, $5 less than what it normally costs. So it's pretty cool. And of course I have some other DC Multiverse figures in my collection, which I just showed you earlier. The two different Wonder Womans, I have Superman. Um, I also have these guys right here. Or basically, yeah, same character. Batman Who Laughs, version one and version two, which comes with the wings and the Build-A-Figure piece of the uh, Merciless. But uh, version two of uh, Batman Who Laughs looks way better than the first version or the first edition. Just something about the sculpts that really pops. And it comes with wings, so how cool is that? I might plan on getting the rest to, just to build uh, Merciless, but I'm not entirely sure yet. All right, so getting in to the final few DC figures. So here are the Batman uh, mission figures that I've been collecting from Spin Masters. Uh, they also have DC characters or other DC characters such as uh, a few characters from the Justice League like Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Flash, Aquaman, I think there's a Green Lantern, there's Cyborg, but I've been sort of getting hooked on collecting these. So this is an old one I got from last year, King Shark it comes with the mech. This I recently got from the Walmart's website of uh, this Bane Batman 2 pack which comes with all of these accessories and a moto tank and on the back you get this awesome artwork so far uh, as far as i know bane is not sold in a uh, single cart or as a single carded figure he's only in this two pack and there's a 12 inch version of him which comes with batman and that goes for like 20 bucks this was 20 bucks by the way this uh, set right there so i've been collecting a, a bunch of these from target just because I've just been so hooked on collecting these lately since uh, these are only thing, these are only figures filling up the shelves <laughs> since they don't want to stock G.I. Joe's or any of the other figures so there's plenty of these at Target and I'll sh go through each ones and show you which ones I own so this one I got from Walmart last year it, it comes with the exclusive Killer Croc and it's exclusive because he has the bandages around his wrists. The single carded one does not have the bandages. It's just all green. Or all painted green. Alright, and I got the two different man bats here. The regular one and the albino one. Or basically, I guess it's just a repaint or a variant as they may call it. Um, these tech versions of Robin and Batwoman. And I believe they are coming out with a tech version of Batgirl. So that might be something I might want to look forward to. I just think the added uh, tech effects or blue paint over their regular costume look kind of cool. And they also look kind of rare, so that's why I also picked them up because if I don't, if I haven't picked them up then, then most likely they would have been difficult to track down in the future. So, you know what I say, you know, if you're a collector and you see something that you can afford, buy it on the spot or else it's going to become a pain to find later on, unless they, you know, sell them later through online services. So here are another two of the females that I got, Catwoman and Wonder Woman. All right, uh, I also found Riddler. Uh, I found them at Target, by the way. I think all of these I found at Target, except for that Killer Croc 3-pack, this one. And the Bane set right here in the back. These two I got from Walmart. Like, this one I found in the store. Uh, this one I found on the Walmart website. Alright, so found Riddler, which is awesome. Really looking forward to collecting the rest of Batman's Rogue Gallery. Which I do have Joker, which you'll see here in a few seconds. But I also got Robin with the hood. There's actually a few different Robins out there. I think there's a repaint of this Robin uh, where he has like green gauntlets and green boots. And there's a normal version of this guy without the tech 
effects on him. And of course, there's this hooded version. So there's a bunch of different Robins out there. Not as much as, as there's uh, Batmans. There's way too many different Batmans they have in the Spin Masters line. But yeah, there's Joker and Batman. These are like the first ones I picked up in this line. And this was sold as a bundle through Amazon's website, actually. And there's actually a new Joker out there who has like an orange belt, orange strap around his leg. He has some, some dynamite on him. And that one is sold through Target. And, oh, right. The Superman Dark Side 2 pack. This one I found on Walmart's website, actually. And there's the back. I don't like how they skipped out on the paint of uh, Darkseid's arm here, but that can easily be fixed if I choose to do so in the future. So yeah, those are all of the uh, DC, or mostly Batman, Spin Master figures that I currently have. I do plan on collecting more characters. I know they are coming out with Mr. Freeze pretty soon, so I would like to collect him. Um, but yeah, I've just been hooked on collecting these, and like I said, these are the only thing filling up the, the filling up the shelves at my local Target, since they don't really want to stock much of anything else lately. Uh, but yeah, that's been my massive toy haul for uh, the beginning of 2021, and there will be more to come, most likely with this line right here, Transformers. Because I am getting into the Earthrise uh, or Kingdom stuff. And I have been watching the Netflix series, which is not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah. So more Transformers to come in the next few months. Uh, Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next toy haul video. Or whatever video I decide to upload to this channel. See you later. I'm going to go cook dinner now. <laughs> Stay awesome.